Hello, Davison. Uh, Superintendent Kevin Brown with another virtual edition of Brown's blog. Uh, coming to you again remotely uh, due to our, our COVID-19 and, and the governor's stay-at-home order. Um, today is May 1st. Um, it's hard to believe, but it's been over seven weeks since we've had students in our building. And uh, I know that it's, it's wearing on all of us. Um, this, this, uh, the last uh, month and a half has been very difficult. It's been very challenging for us, for you, for, for the kids, I know. Um, normally, at this time of the year, we're, we're planning some end of year events, some rather significant end of year events. We're, we're gearing up for prom, senior honors night, graduation, uh, all of those landmark occurrences um, that our seniors experience as their final year uh, in high school. And, and really today's blog, well, I wanna focus on those kids, uh, on our senior students and, and, uh, and your parents, um, and talk a little bit about uh, what the district's plans are um, for, for some of these things. You know, we've, we're still unsure about where we're gonna be um, in two weeks, in a month, in two months. And so it's hard to make any definitive plans. And so one of the things that, uh, that we've tried to do, myself, uh, Principal Jacobs, and uh, of the other administrators in the district, is that we're, we're trying to develop a plan that has some options. Um, I will tell you that we have reserved two dates. Uh, we're looking at June 29th, um, or July 13th. Uh, so those are the two dates we're gonna focus on with our plans um, in order to have some type of a graduation ceremony for, uh, for our seniors. Um, and we're trying to develop a, uh, a plan that gives us some options. So uh, kind of a, a good, better, best type scenario. Um, if you're a parent of a senior, um, you know, I would pencil in those two days on the calendar. Obviously, uh, moving the, the graduation to a later date, um, it, it could be an inconvenience and it may not be realistic. And we may have uh, parents, students who aren't comfortable participating, even if we are able to hold um, a commencement exercise. Um, so all of this, of course, would be voluntary. Nobody's gonna be required to attend. Um, we're also looking at May 26th um, as a day that hopefully the stay-at-home order will have been lifted. Uh, kids can come up and clean out their lockers, uh, seniors that is. We'll pick a later date for our underclassmen and our, our other uh, students in the district. But I'm, I'm really focusing today on just seniors. And so um, I've met with Principal Jacobs. He's met with his administrative staff, some of his his. Uh, school leaders, um, and we've developed a plan um, that we'll be sharing with you in greater detail next week. Principal Jacobs will be sending a letter next week kind of laying out um, this good, better, best plan uh, for graduation, senior honors night, uh, some of the other uh, events that, that would normally take place in the life of a senior. Again, because of the, uh, because, because of the uncertainty of what we're facing, uh, we don't know for sure uh, what, what is going to transpire, but I wanted to just come to you today and let you know that we are prepared. We have developed a plan. The plan has several options um, that'll be shared with you next week um, and, and that we're, we're not forgetting about our seniors and, and this mon monumental time in their life. So uh, today's blog is, is really pretty brief. Um, don't have a lot of details to share. I'm gonna let Principal Jacobs do that in his communication next week, uh, but you can plan on May 26th and the 28th as the two dates when we will plan on having seniors be able to come back to the high school, clean out their lockers, turn in their books, pick up anything that they need. Um, this would also be a time when they could pick up diplomas, uh, awards, things of that nature. Um, if they're not going to participate in the graduation ceremony, um, assuming we can have one, 
Um, and if, if we do have a graduation ceremony, we're looking at either June 29th or July 13th for that to take place. And we're gonna have a couple different options based on what we can and can't do. So just wanna let you know, we're thinking about you. We're planning, uh, we're planning for the, the best. We're planning for the worst. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have options depending on what we're we're able to and not able to do. Um, so with that, um, stay safe, stay healthy, um, and we hope to see all of you soon.